I have a weakness for precision measuring devices. There's something really satisfying about knowing a value with great precision. But how accurate are your tools? This is a cheap Chinese DMM. How accurate is this thing? I'm Jack Gansel and welcome to the Embedded Muse video blog, which is a companion to my free Embedded Muse e-newsletter. Today we're going to take a look at one way to check these meters out. In a lot of labs, the instruments go out every year or so to a calibration lab for a complete checkup. But, you know, many companies just don't do that anymore, and small outfits can't afford the sometimes large expense. This is a $38 poor man's Cal Lab. It's called the DMM Check, and it's just a little board powered by a 9 volt battery. The device outputs 5 volts on these two pins, which is accurate to 0.01%. There's also these three 0.1% resistors on the board, and their actual values are marked, having been measured by a very high precision DMM. They're wired in series, which gives you a half dozen different values you can use to check your meters. A 1 milliamp current source, right here, is also accurate to 0.1%. I really like the design. Note that the, there are cutoffs around the voltage reference in order to relieve the stress on that device so that it will remain accurate. How about a demo? But what could be more boring than taking a voltage measurement? I'm not going to put you to sleep showing you a meter re reading 5.000 volts. Instead, let's look at something a little more interesting. Well, this is exciting. Here's a 1K resistor, and the measurement is pretty good. But it's wrong, and the reason is interesting. Here's how the ohmmeter works. It sources a little bit of voltage out to the resistor being tested, and by sensing the current flow in the circuit can deduce the resistor value. But that gives an incorrect measurement, because there's actually another resistor in the circuit, the resistance of the leads of the meter. To overcome this problem, a new kind of meter was developed called a four-wire meter. In this case, one set of leads is used to supply a current to the meter, and another set of wires is used to, set, to sense the voltage developed across the resistor. So here the DMM checks 1K resistor is hooked up to an nice little HP meter, and we're getting basically the same value that we saw on a cheap Chinese meter, which is sort of reassuring. However, of course, as I said before, this is wrong. As you can see by the wiring, there are now four wires going to that resistor, just like I diagrammed on the whiteboard. And by pressing the four wire button, now this meter starts to supply current from two of the wires to the resistor and use two other wires to sense the value. And as you can see, the value has dropped. That's exactly what you would expect. I'll go back with two wire mode. The value goes up because of the extra resistance in those wires. It's no substitute for a real Cal lab, as it only does a single point voltage check and it only has one current value. A real Cal lab will check an instrument over its entire range of operation. But this DMM check thing does give a reasonable sense about the accuracy of some tools. It's $38 with 25 part per million resistors. Or for an extra four bucks, you can get 10 part per million resistors. For that price, I figure this is a great asset to any lab that doesn't do regular formal calibrations. For embedded work, the 5 volt output is just about ideal since so many of our voltages are in a few volts range. So there you have it, a cheap and useful way to give confidence in your meters. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out a lot more videos and over a thousand articles over at Gansel.com.